Hi, and welcome to the Bookish Stitcher podcast. My name is Jeanette, and I'm your host, and I am Bookish Stitcher on Ravelry and Instagram. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, this is uh, take two. I started recording, and I was saying, oh, if you hear any background noise, my cats have decided to have an epic battle behind me. Well, the epic battle quickly escalated, and I had to stop the video and take the cats upstairs because they were being crazy. So um, let's get started with what I finished this week. This is the Baby Mine. I still have to sew in the ends and put buttons on, but I'm calling it finished. Um, this is the Baby Mine sweater, and uh, it's by Stephanie Pearl McPhee. And it's done in Baby Dream DK. It's just an acrylic that I got because the mom's having twins, and I knew she wouldn't want to have to spend a lot of time hand washing, so I just made it easy care. And I really like it. I think it's so adorable. <laughs> I, knitting this newborn knit, actually, I was like, I went up to my husband, I was like, oh, tiny babies. But we're not happy. <laughs> but it's really, really cute. And um, I look forward to seeing a picture of the cute baby in it after they're born. So that's my only finished object this week. Um, I cast on something new this week. And... Um, it's in my Fat Squirrel Fiber bag that I got at SSK. And this is a Christmas present for my mom. It's actually, it's actually caught on the yarn. There we go. Um, and I made a lot of progress on this. I kind of, I just really wanted to work on this a ton. And I said, you know what, if you want to work on it, then just go. I didn't force myself to work on other stuff. This is a Christmas present for my mom. It is uh, socks and um, the pattern is No Pearl Monkeys. Uh, the original pattern of the monkey is by Cookie A, and then the No Pearl Monkeys um, was an adaptation done by Cra uh, Crafty Pancakes, I think. But this yarn is called uh, Frolicking Feet, and I really like it. It's funny because my mom always asks for socks for Christmas, and I always have trouble like, oh, which one should I give her? So I picked this out of my stash thinking, oh, I don't, and it's vacation yarn, um, vacation souvenir yarn from years ago. Uh, I went in a little yarn store, um, it's like a little antique town. I went in a yarn store, and I didn't really see anything that I loved, but I felt like I needed to support this tiny little local yarn store. Not local to me, but local to the area we were visiting. So I just picked this up. And I didn't love it in the skein. It was called Starry Starry Night, and I love the name and the reference to Van Gogh, but um, I didn't love it in the skein. So I was like, oh, I'll make this for my mom, you know, it's just sitting in my stash. But knit up, it's so pretty. See how it almost, it's like little stars in the night sky, and there are different colors of blue. There's like a dark, dark navy and a royal blue. It's, I really, really like it knit up. Of course, yeah, now that I'm like, this is a gift for somebody, I'm like, oh, I like it. But eh, the skeins are really generous. They have, um, 480 yards, so I'll definitely have enough over to make something tiny for me. But so I did the cuff and turned the heel, and that was this week's progress. The next thing I'm working on, sorry, my voice is kind of going out. Was allergies are terrible here right now? I don't know, but um, is the spring garden tea for my daughter, and this is by Alana Dacos, and she does a lot of really cute little girl patterns. If you have a daughter. Um, I highly recommend, or if you knit for little girls, I highly recommend her patterns. There's this. And I, of course, you can see, took off the sleeves and went down. I have just, I think, three more inches left on the body before I'll be done with that. And um, then I have to, you know, finish the sleeves and the call or the, yeah, the collar. But it's really cute. And I hope to have this done next week, but no guarantees. And then the last thing that I'm working on, that I've been working on for a while, and it's about to outgrow, it's another fat squirrel bag. This one, everywhere I go, people are like, I love your bag. I'm like, I do too. So, it's the front, or well, I don't think it has a front, but I call it the front. Here's the back. Um, but uh, it's about to outgrow this bag. This is the Snowbird by Heidi Kiermaier, and the uh, yarn it's done in is Knit Picks City Tweed DK, and it's in the Enchanted colorway. <laughs> it's so hard to show, guys. But um, I finished the other sleeve, 
There's a sleeve. And there's a sleeve. And then I started with the body. So it's, it's going. I have to knit for several inches and then um, do pockets and then knit for several inches more and then do all the color together. But that's, I did a couple inches. So it's that. And it's really, really soft and I'm excited to have it finished so I can wear it this fall when it gets cooler. It's so funny. I have uh, friends that are uh, in different states and they're posting. One of uh, my friends is posting on the our Ravelry group that um, it's starting to get cold there and the, sn the leaves and stuff like that are changing color. And next week it's going to be a hundred, it's going to hit a hundred degrees here. So I'm just, ah, and I actually love to run, but I don't run in the summer. Like once it gets hot, I, I don't, I'm not hardcore. I don't go running out when it's a hundred degrees. So I'm really looking forward to uh, being cooler so I can get to running again. Cause I'm like three or four months off when I'm so out of shape and I, I, a little softer than I normally am in the when the temperatures are cooler. Okay, so those are all my works in progress. Um, let's do the drawing, and then I will show this. This episode should be called, or will be called, um, "Too Much Enabling," because I have a lot, a lot of things to show you guys. Um, so let's do the drawing. This is the drawings for the uh, Miss Babs this gorgeous colorway, which is called Nashville Neon. So pretty. And we had, I think, let me see. We had 27 entries for that. And so I'm gonna pull out my random number generator on my phone. And I'm going to plug in the number two through 27. And I am going to show you guys. It says, okay, 2 through 27. Generate. Random number drew number 7. Can you see that? Okay, so let's see who number 7 is. Number 7 is Jane Knits 51. And she said, she doesn't really have, a, or they don't really have a favorite yarn. They like wool in any in any weight. So, yay, you won! Just send me your address, and I will send this skein off to you. So uh, I know you will love it because it's so pretty, and I can't wait to see. You have to uh, put it on the group and show um, what you make out of it whenever you make it. But I can't wait to see what you make. I'm gonna make socks out of my skein because, like I said, I got two of these. Cause I it was wool themed, you know, in the marketplace at SSK. It was just like pile the yarn. But okay, on to enabling. So I have debated like, okay, I've been kind of holding stuff back and showing different stuff. I still have a whole bunch to show from SSK. And, um, sorry, my phone is, my sister-in-law is calling me. Um, so I still have a whole bunch of stuff to show from SSK. I have a couple more sweater quantities, and then I have striped sock yarn palooza. Like, no joke, tons of striping sock yarn. Take a drink. This, my son and I just went to uh, the craft store and got a whole bunch of fall and Halloween craft stuff, and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to make like a wreath for the door and stuff. But I got this mason jar tumbler. It says witch's brew, but it makes a really loud noise when you drink of it. Okay, I'm feeling, my allergy medicine makes me really thirsty. I don't know if your guys does that to you, but it does it to me. I'm like, oh. Okay, so enabling. I used the SSK coupon codes a little while back to try a new to me yarn that I've never tried before, and it's called January Yarns. And, um... So January Yarns is on Etsy, and I'll link that all in the show thing. And I decided to get some different yarns to try because it was a very good, I think it was like 20% off. But um, I got stuff to make a two-color shawl. And this is their Merino DK, and it's a uh, super wash Merino, 250 yards. This color is graphite. So pretty. You can see their label. Oh, I forgot to do the view thing. It's going to be backwards, guys. Maybe I can flip it later. 
I had a technology win and then I forgot to, okay. So if it's backwards, I'm sorry, I forgot to switch it at the beginning, but maybe I can switch it right now. I'm not sure. Well, I'll, I'll mess with it later. I don't want to mess with the thing, but okay. And this is the orchid colorway and it's a purple. So those together are going to be a gorgeous shawl. I, I have already a purple and gray shawl um, out of skein yarn, and I apparently have this thing for purple and gray. So there's that. And then another skein of January, uh, January yarns. This is her staple sock. It's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 460 yards, and the color is absent. And it's so pretty. And uh, I've been wanting to kind of pick a complicated sock yarn book, sock pattern book, sorry, and just knit my way through it. So I think that's going to be a fun goal of mine for next year. And I've been collecting some solid, you know, not variegated uh, sock yarns to do that with. So this is really pretty. It's a little bit darker than it's showing up there, but yeah, it's very pretty. And another yarn that I got, um, okay, so last Saturday, my local knit night celebrated seven years of knit nights, and uh, one of the people there is a local dyer to me, and they gave out little samples of their yarn as like a yay, seven year kind of thing, and I really, everybody, a lot of people there had tried out her yarn before, and I had never gotten any, so I went on her Etsy, and she said it was, there wasn't a lot there, because she's doing a lot of festivals right now. But um, there was a couple things. There were a couple things, and um, I snagged one up because I wanted to support, you know, local to me people, and I wanted to tell you guys about it. So this is the yarn. Can get it out of here? Look pretty. It's a very muted pastel rainbow. And this will not be for me. Uh, I'm going to actually knit my daughter a Paulette out of this, I think. It's a really pretty tunic with little eyelets. And um, it's a pattern I already have, so I think I'm just going to make her one of those. And I think this will be really pretty for that. But so on to the dyer of this yarn. Um, it's Heavenly Fibers, and she dyes here in Texas. And this yarn is her gloss fingering weight. It's 60% superwash merino, 30% bamboo and 10% nylon, and that's something I've never gotten to try before, is bamboo in a fingering weight. Uh, so that'll be really cool. Kind of gives it that really pretty sheen that you guys are seeing. <laughs> my, my light's like, whoa, shiny. And um, she sent along a little sample and a stitch marker and candy. And uh, show her business card. Hopefully I can flip it around, but I don't know. I'll link everything. Um, but her name is Leilani Franklin, and um, her stuff can be found at heavenlyfiber.etsy.com. And um, like I said, she doesn't put up a lot on her shop. At least when I went on there, there wasn't. I think I may have gotten one of the last things. But she does a lot of festivals, so if you're ever at any festivals in Texas, or I don't know if she does surrounding areas, she might. But uh, definitely go and check her out. She's really, really nice, and her stuff is really pretty. So there's that. Okay, so now, move everything over, now for the book this week. I actually got this um, last weekend, I started it, because I wanted um, a short book that I could listen to uh, on my walks in the morning. I was doing walks uh, over, and then drink, sorry. It's leaking all over <laughs> Uh, I wanted a really short book that I could finish off. I set a goal for myself every year to read 50 books, and I was starting to fall behind, so I needed a short book um, to kind of catch up, and I had a credit on my Audible. So I got this book because I like smart, intelligent, funny female. Besides, it's just, I love the time book. So, it's going to be backwards. Okay, is everyone hanging out without me and other concerns by Mindy Colley. And uh, she actually 
was, or is, I think, she's on The Office, and she was on Saturday Night Live, and she's just a really intelligent uh, female comedian, and I liked this book a lot. It kind of, it started off really strong, and I was laughing a ton, and then towards the end, of, I, it wasn't as funny, but it was still really well written. And uh, she actually narrates it herself, so that's a definite plus. And um, she just talks about a lot of uh, things that I think would be really, like, if you have a daughter or a young girl, this would be a really good book to get them because she, she really talks about stuff that girls face, but in an intelligent way. And I don't know, I just, I really like this book. So she, um... She talks about her size issues because she obviously is in, in an industry where you're expected to be a size 2 or a size 0, and she's a size 8, or she was when she did this book, and she talks about that and how people kind of, how they treat her because of that and how people try to dress her a certain way, stylists and stuff. She talks about comedy and how um, she always loved that, and she talks about friends, and just, it's a very good book. It has a lot of really funny stuff, but it's also really thought-provoking. And so that is my book for this week, and um, that's everything I had. Uh, oh, I should mention, uh, we're doing a fall knit-along in the group right now, and Ravelry, the group, is uh, the Bookish Stitcher podcast. And um, so anything fall, hats, mittens, socks, sweater, what, scarf, <laughs> cowl, anything fall, or, you know, if you just want to do fall colors like washcloth in fall colors or a headband in fall colors. I'm really laid back. Uh, but make sure to post your finished object in the finished object thread so that I can draw uh, prizes from that. And I don't have the prize with me this week to show you guys, but it's in the thread. It's um, a really pretty thing from the Loopy U. And um, the other prize is a pattern of your choice for $10 or less. And... Um, the next giveaway we're going to be doing, the Ravelry group has a little over 70 members in it. And um, once we get up to 100, I have a really cool, fun idea. Um, it's kind of like you pick your own prize from this really awesome Etsy store that I love. Um, so if you know anybody that you'd like to invite to the group, go ahead and do that. And we'll have, that'll be our next drawing at the 100 member prize giveaway. And um, I hope everybody has an awesome week and you get to do lots of the things you love. Okay, bye guys.